Ever wondered how secure your favorite web applications really are? Picture this, you're online, perhaps shopping, banking, or just browsing. You trust these web applications with some of your most sensitive information, but how secure are they? The truth is, as our reliance on web apps for everyday tasks increases, so does the importance of web application security. Think about it. We live in a digital world where almost everything is connected to the Internet. Your personal and financial data are constantly being transferred and stored. Without proper security measures, these data could easily fall into the wrong hands. Cyber criminals are always on the prowl, looking for vulnerabilities to exploit. A weekly secured web app could be their ticket to your private information. So, what can be done to protect these web applications? And how do hackers even manage to break through the defenses? That's a fascinating tale indeed. In the next few minutes, we will unravel the mystery of web app hacking methodology. So, what exactly is web app hacking methodology? Well, let's break it down. Hacking methodology is a systematic approach that ethical hackers or white hat hackers utilize to identify and exploit vulnerabilities in web applications. Think of it as a roadmap, a step-by-step -step guide for hackers to navigate the intricate landscape of a web app, seeking out potential weak spots. This methodology isn't about wreaking havoc or causing harm, quite the opposite in fact. It's employed by security professionals to fortify web applications. By identifying vulnerabilities, they can patch them up before any malicious hackers or black hat hackers can exploit them. In essence, hacking methodology is the art of thinking like the enemy to defeat the enemy. It's about understanding the strategies of those with malicious intent and using that knowledge to build stronger, safer web applications. Now that we know what it is, the next question is how does it work? The first step in the hacking methodology is reconnaissance. This stage is akin to a master thief casing a mansion before a heist. Just as the thief gathers intelligence about guard routines, alarm systems, and potential entry points, a hacker embarks on a similar mission in the digital realm. Reconnaissance is all about gathering preliminary data about the target. This could be a web application, a network, or even an individual. What is the target's domain name? Who is the internet service provider? What kind of data are they dealing with? What are the vulnerabilities? These are just a few of the questions a hacker seeks to answer during this stage. The tools of the trade in this phase can range from basic internet searches to more sophisticated techniques like DNS queries and network sweeps. The aim is the same, to gather as much useful information as possible without alerting the target. With enough information, a hacker is well equipped to proceed to the next step. After reconnaissance comes scanning and enumeration. This is where hackers put on their detective hats and start digging deeper. They utilize a myriad of tools to scan the target web application for any potential vulnerabilities. Tools can range from automated scanning software to manual techniques. The goal here is to identify any weak spots that could be exploited. Enumeration, on the other hand, is about gathering specific information about the system. It's like getting to know your target more intimately. Hackers may use techniques like port scanning to determine which ports are open and which services are running on those ports. They might also try to discover user accounts, system architecture, and network configurations. The more information they gather, the easier it becomes to find a way in. In essence, scanning and enumeration are about finding the chinks in the armor, the tiny cracks in the wall. It's a meticulous process, but absolutely vital. Once a vulnerability is found, it's time to exploit it. The third step in the hacking methodology is gaining access. This is where the rubber meets the road in the hacking world. After identifying vulnerabilities during the scanning and enumeration phase, hackers now seek to exploit these weaknesses. They use a variety of tools and techniques, some as simple as guessing passwords, others as complex as writing custom code to penetrate the system's defenses. Their goal? Usually it's data theft or causing damage to the system. They might be after sensitive information like credit card numbers, personal details, or trade secrets. Alternatively, they could be seeking to disrupt services or damage the system's reputation. It's a high-stakes game of cat and mouse, with hackers continually evolving their methods to stay one step ahead of the security measures in place. But gaining access is just one part of the process. After gaining access, maintaining it is the next goal. Maintaining access is the fourth step in web app hacking. 
In this phase, hackers aim to ensure that they can continue to exploit the system, even after the original vulnerability has been patched. This is typically achieved through the establishment of a backdoor in the system. A backdoor is essentially an alternative entry point into the system that bypasses normal authentication processes. It can be as simple as a hidden user account with a known password or as complex as a remote control program inserted into the system's code. The backdoor isn't just about re-entry. It's about stealth and persistence. It's designed to remain undetected, often mimicking legitimate processes or hiding within the vast complexities of the system's code. This way, the hacker can maintain access over a long period, extracting valuable data or causing ongoing disruption. It's a crafty move, but it's not the final play. But it doesn't end there, covering tracks is the final step. The final step in the hacking methodology is covering tracks. This stage is as crucial as the others, if not more. With all the hard work done, hackers wouldn't want to leave behind any digital breadcrumbs that could lead back to them, would they? In essence, covering tracks is about erasing one's digital footprint. This could involve deleting log files, clearing out command history, or even altering timestamps. It's like a cat burglar wiping down surfaces to avoid leaving fingerprints. Why is this step so important? It's simple. Without it, all the previous steps could be laid bare, exposing the hacker and their methods. It's akin to baking the perfect cake and leaving it out for the birds. All the effort, all the skill wasted. Remember, in the world of cybersecurity, stealth is as important as skill. A good hacker is not just someone who can break into systems, but also someone who can do it without leaving a trace. And that, my friends, is a brief overview of the web app hacking methodology.